So let's look at what components need to be altered when we go from plasma to urine. These are clinical, clinically relevant lab values, so um, maybe something you use in the future. We're going to use them right here to, again, compare from blood plasma to urine. What's different? And that's going to tell us what things are filtered, what things are reabsorbed, and what things are kind of dynamically regulated. So first of all, um, we've got some things that are already told you are not going to even enter the nephron. So proteins are the main one right here. These are very low in urine. They're also not even filtered through. They, I guess they are filtered, so they are lost um, during that filtration process. Almost all the rest of these, these things listed here are going to enter the filtrate, but then um, some of them are going to be reabsorbed. So if reabsorbed, I'm doing pink. Some of these are consistent um, in a normal individual. So glucose in your blood plasma, for example, and lipids, these are both nutrients, right? These things are fairly high in the plasma and pretty darn low in the urine. These are going to enter the filtrate because they, they're not filtered out. They can pass through the capillary, um, but then they're going to be reabsorbed pretty, pretty consistently. The wastes down here, these are a lot higher in the urine than they are in the plasma. And that kind of makes sense for wastes, right? So these are things that are going to be enter the filtrate and then not be reabsorbed. reabsorbed. Instead, they're actually going to be additional secretion of these. Um, more is going to enter that capillary tubule than even initially was entered due to filtration. And that makes sense for like what we want to happen to wastes. We don't want to reabsorb them. The remaining three listed here I'm going to do in yellow, sure. These are really variable. So what you'll see here is especially these first two, these are huge ranges. In the plasma, the ranges are not so big. So these are both homeostatically um, regulated variables in the plasma. We need to maintain homeostatic levels of sodium, potassium, and bicarbonate. One way of doing this, maintaining these normal levels, is by producing a urine that has more or less of them, depending on um, what's needed. So these reabsorption varies greatly depending on, on need. Um, bicarbonate is a little bit more more consistent. All right. 